Hello everyone, welcome back audience. My name is Massive Brad and welcome back to my FIFA 16 Liverpool career mode. Now before we jump in to the Champions Trophy final against AC Milan, I just want to say a huge big thank you for the love and support on the channel. And if you do enjoy today's video, please do give it a big thumbs up for me. Don't forget to drop your comments down below if you're new around here. Click that subscribe button. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. I just want to give you a quick update as well guys. Tomorrow, finally, you've all been waiting for it. It's going to be absolutely mental. It took so much time guys. I've put so much effort into it. It. it is going to be amazing. I'm sure it's going to become one of the most favourite series on my channel that's currently running, and that is the FIFA 16 My Player. So I'm hoping you're all looking forward to that. I'm super pumped for it. But today, it's all about the final. I cannot believe we have got here, guys. We beat Fiorentina last episode 1 0. AC Milan beat by a Leverkusen on penalties 4 3. And now both teams meet in the final of the preseason, which is absolutely amazing, guys. And even if we don't win this, the fact we got through to the final, we've had a go of all the players, we've got them back fit, and we're rearing to go for the Barclays Premier League and hoping this season that we can get that Champions League and we have Europe football this year so I am super duper excited this is the squad I've gone for guys I've gone for Balotelli and Corrier up top Roberto Firmino at central attacker mid Tielemans and Henderson at central midfield I've took out Gaia because he's been playing very well recently he's a little bit tired so I've brought Joe Gomez back into the team I've got Sacco, Skirtle, Zuma and Klein to join Gomez at the back with Mignolet in goal and what I'm also going to do quickly guys is I want to change everyone keeps saying in the comment section we'll say everyone not everyone but Balotelli is currently number 32 and he should be 45 as original number so we're going to go ahead and change him to number 45 where he belongs obviously he's out alone at AC Milan currently and I'm hoping when he comes back next season that Jurgen Klopp will give him a bit of a chance and hopefully he can become a world class striker because I always thought since he was like 19-20 when I seen him do amazing things at Inter Milan he's done amazing things at Man City I really thought he was going to become world class and I still think with Mooney being 25-26 he's still got another 5 years where he could do something amazing with his career but I'm in favour of do guys we're going to jump straight into this game i'm in a bit of a rush tonight because i've got something going on tonight but i did tweet out before saying i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to get you guys an episode out tonight but i've rushed home i've done it i'm not doing it right now and i've got to be out of here within the next hour so i've literally got to record this edit it and then i'm gonna to have to upload it while i'm on the go so i'm gonna to have to take my laptop and everything with me but hopefully guys you do enjoy this final of the pre-season and here we go guys, the final oh, of the preseason. Yeah, and not for entire. one minute, if I'm completely honest, oh, did I think we would reach this far. Not when at the start we were playing Sacco in goal. We drew against Bayer Leverkusen. We then managed to come back against Lyon and win 3-2. We managed to come back 2-2 against Hyundai. And I cannot believe that we then went on to beat Fiorentina and now we are in the final against AC Milan. And hopefully after this game guys, the heart the of the side. midfield, the next Gerard is what I called last episode. William Carvalho may possibly sign for Liverpool and also the PSG defender Marquinhos may also be on his way to Anfield, which would be absolutely awesome. But let's get into this first 45 minute period guys. I'm going to go a little bit defensive and play like I normally do and hopefully we can go in a half time with either a draw or the lead. There's Klein, let's go Klein, let's go Klein, nice big touch and another big touch. Get the ball in for Mario back post. Here's Mario Balotelli. And again, oh, it was unfortunate. That was very, very close. Play it in. Nicely done. Here we go. Let's go, Gomez. Lay it off. Hold it back. Play it in. Nicely done. Here's Mario. Turn in, Mario. Let's go, Mario. Shoot that Mario on his right foot. Oh, and he's dragged it wide. Come on, track him down. Track him down. They're coming forward to get a foot in. What a save. No. And he's put it over. We got very, very lucky there. Jeremy Menez putting it over the bar. He should have been putting that in the back of the net. Punched away again. Win that. Nicely done. Let's go. Coutinho. Oh, and Coutinho goes with an overhead kick. And it nearly beats Lloris. Hold it up, Mario. Hold it up, Mario. Play it through. Here's Coutinho. Let's go, Coutinho. He's passed his last man. Come on, Coutinho. Keep going, son. Keep going. Ref. Ref. Yes, we got a penalty right before half time, guys. I went for the cutback with Coutinho. And Abate took him out. Knock him out, Coutinho. Look at him saying, sorry, that was a disgusting tackle. I just had a feeling, and it's only a yellow card. I could have easily been a red card right there, guys. A cutback at the right time as he was sliding in. I didn't mean to get the penalty. I was honestly going for the cutback, and then I was going to come into the box and finesse. But he took him out. Look at this. Look, doesn't touch the ball. Gets Coutinho's left foot and takes him off his feet. And here we go. It is Mario Balotelli to step up to take this. Come on, Mario. Top right. Let's go. Top right. Yes! 
and Mario Balotelli, Super Mario, puts us 1-0 up in the 45th minute, but Lloris done very well, he dived the right way, but unfortunately just couldn't get a hand to it, and he'd already dived too far by the time the ball come in. Well done indeed, what a beautiful penalty that was, and well done Coutinho for winning it. And there we go guys, referee blows for the first period, and we are going in with the lead 1-0. And we could possibly go on now, guys, to win the pre-season tournament, to win the Champions Trophy, which is absolutely amazing. And the fact we've gone 1-0 up now, that trophy could be ours first of all, but I think the heads may drop. I think the AC Milan players, the heads might drop. I think Lloris is not going to be very happy. He's played very well so far. We definitely deserve to be in the lead. Four shots, three on target. They've had three shots, one on target. I fully think that we should definitely be in the lead. And to be honest... That's exactly what we've got. So I'm going to jump back into the second half with exactly the same team. And hopefully we can find another goal or two. Go on, Balotelli play it in. Here's Tielemans, right foot finesse. Header. Oh, and it's straight into Lloris' hands. Lay it off for him. Here's Correa. Come on, Correa, play him in. Play him in. Here's Tielemans, ref. Oh, is it another penalty or free kick right on the edge of the box? It is, in fact, guys. And this could end up in the back of the net. It is going to be the main man. Although Balotelli's got a brilliant free kick, I'm going to let Yori Tielemans step up and take this one. Come on, Yori. Over the wall. Back of the net. Over the wall. Back of the net. Oh, it's just over. A little bit too much power. Maybe I didn't get the right angle on it. But very close to the youngster, Yori Tielemans. Go on, Coutinho. Nicely done. Here's Balotelli. Come on, Balotelli. You passed him. Hit it, Balotelli! What a huge save by the Yori. That was on Mario's weak foot as well, on his left foot. Get it out. Nicely done. Play it off for Benteke. Hold it up, Benteke. Lay it through. Here's Bizarre. Lay it through again. Here's Firmino. Surely, let's go, Firmino. Win. Get it to Lloris. No. I was meant to say get to it before Lloris, but unfortunately we couldn't. A minute to go, guys. We've got to hold on. Just a minute. That's it. And there we go. He's played the back to Lloris. The fans are singing. You'll never walk alone. Surely the ref is going to blow any minute now. Oh, Mario just robbed him, and that would have probably been the second goal, guys. But there we go. We have won the Champions Trophy. We have won the pre-season. Oh my word, I can't believe it, guys. I honestly can't believe it. You'll never walk alone. Walk on, walk on with hope. Oh my word, guys, I can't believe it. I honestly can't believe it. And there we go. The starting 11 and the bench celebrate after winning the pre-season tournament absolutely incredible and that means guys that seven and a half thousand pound is going to be ours seven and a half thousand pounds sorry i mean seven and a half million pound is going to be ours as well as some bonuses that we've picked up along the way that is absolutely insane i'm over the moon guys i really can't believe it but if you look at the stats we fully deserve to win that one absolutely incredible and hopefully William Carvalho may have possibly signed for us. There we go. Liverpool beat AC Milan 1-0 to go on and win the Champions Trophy. What an absolutely insane game. I'm over the moon with how the players have played. Even when we played Sacco in goal, we can go ahead and delete that. There we go. Dear Mr. M. Brad, congratulations on winning the final of the Champions Trophy. Going deep into the tournament gave us great exposure and an entire organisation will benefit from it. We are looking forward to seeing you in action when the season starts. We hope the extra transfer funds help bolster the squad even further. How much did we get? 2.88 million. Is that all we're getting? We mustn't have been given all the money unless we've picked up the whole 7.5 million over the period of time. But what I'm going to do now, guys, is advance all the way to Sunday. I'm going to do a bit of player development. Oh, oh, and there we go, guys. Even more better news. William Carvalho, who asked for 120 grand a week, has accepted 90 grand a week. And Vanny, fair to do, William Carvalho, welcome to Liverpool. There we go, guys. Snapped him up for 22 million. He wanted 120 grand. He was on 60, and we snapped him up for just 90,000. So I'm over the moon with that, and there we go. We've also finally sold Adam Bogdan to QPR for 2 million. We've been allocated 1.7 million. Also, PSG have accepted 19 million. For Marquinhos, he's asking for 90,000 a week. We'll go ahead and give him that. He wants four years, but we're going to offer him five on 90 grand a week. So we may possibly be signing two players today, guys. We've also had another transfer offer for Adam Lallana. Everybody wants this man. Tell you what, if you want him, you're paying 25 million for him. Because everyone in the comments section has given me some brilliant ideas. Like Max Meyer is a really good one that I like the sound of. 
and there we go we have successfully negotiated the signing of William Carvalho oh, I'm over the moon with that signing I really am right we'll go ahead and advance a couple more days hopefully all the way to Sunday do we get any emails back we have indeed the transfer offer for Adam Alana they've stopped pursuing that's not a problem we've also had another transfer offer from FC Bayern Munich these are probably going to pay a wedge guys so I'm going to ask for 28 million they have got a lot of money and 28 million will not touch the side to buy a Munich. It really won't. There we go. We can advance one more day. In fact, we'll go. We'll do the training. Then we'll advance one more day. I want to see what happens with Mark Kinios. So we've got Bazal doing the first three. And we've got Gomez on the last two. And it is A's, B's and D's throughout. So I'm over the moon with that. Well done, lads. Putting the hard work in on the training ground. And finally, let's advance one or two more days. Here we go. And yes! Also, Mark Kinios has accepted £90,000 a week. He is going to be Varane's replacement. And Mark Kinios, again, welcome to Liverpool. You and William Carvalho, I'm sure, will fit in the squad no problem whatsoever. We can go ahead and delete that. Um, also, Aston Villa have come in for a man that we probably won't ever be using, Luis Alberto. But he's worth £5 million. I'm going to up it to 5.2. They offered 4.2. I want an extra million. I'm not going to let him go for less than what he's valued at. And Derby County have also come in and offered 30 million for Lallana. Everybody wants Lallana. It must be because he's not getting played and everyone wants to hit him up. And there we go, new sign and arrives. Mark Kinios has packed his bags and is on his way for his medical at Liverpool. And guys, unfortunately, because I'm in a bit of a rush, I'm going to have to leave today's episode there. If you have enjoyed it, please do give it a big thumbs up for me. Let me know down below what you think of the two new signings in the comment section. If you're new around here, make sure you click that subscribe button. Don't forget to share this video with friends and family. And I've been Massive Brad. Peace out.